Hello, hello everyone. It is Christine here. We are on to day five of my special series titled Moving Forward While Staying Put. Now, today's topic, I was hoping to have a special guest with me, but um, she's not here yet. It's highly possible she shows up at the end of the video. If not, I am going to record a special bonus video for everyone today because this topic is um, such a good one. So today's topic, tip, suggestion is all about the power of play. Play, play, play. Now, this is some serious times, right? And a lot of people are dealing with a lot of um, anxiety, fear, struggle, and play might seem like the last thing to do. I get that. And I will say I've had my little challenges recently with play because I am so excited to be in this stay at home mode where I can really work on my projects pretty uninterrupted except for the dog. And um, there were a couple days that I was kind of like full steam ahead and I didn't take the time to play. Let me tell you, I felt it. I felt it. And what I felt was the beginning of stress uh, to build up and to um, rise up again. And I, I totally felt myself being off. So I want to dive in a little bit today and, and talk about the power of play and challenge you to play every day. So here's the thing. We uh, have to take care of ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. So when we move toward our goals, we it's not all about just what we're doing or tasks and actions. It's about how we are taking care of ourselves also along that journey, right? Are we doing things that nourish us with food? Are we doing things that nourish our heart, nourish our mind and our, our spirit also? Play is one of those things. So while I talk about it as a tool, it is actually a very essential part of our lives and a part of our journey as radiant achievers. Play can relieve stress, it can improve relationships, it stokes your creativity. I will tell you, after I have a little session of dance, I so feel that creativity coming up in me and there's this energy and it also helps us to stay young and be youthful and it um, it keeps the it, it helps with our brain too. So thinking, thinking, thinking doesn't just help the brain. It's all about engaging all of us. And play is a way to engage all of yourself. So what are some favorite ways that you like to play? I know for me, well, actually, before I say that, let me back this up for a second. We probably, or you may, have stories about play. Things like, I just don't have time, or I'm, I'm too old for that, whatever that is. Uh, I, I, I'll look silly, or there's, there's probably a story, um, unless you really kind of kept that youthfulness through the years, um, chances are um, you may have a story about play and that it, it's, un, it's actually become uncomfortable. I know I had my own stories. I remember going on vacations, and um, one vacation, the kids were jumping off this big rock in Hawaii. And I sat there like just wanting to do it. And then so much story was in my head of, I'm gonna look foolish. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't do those kinds of things anymore. And all of these layers and layers of story around play. I will tell you when I said yes and started taking dance lessons at Arthur Murray, and I'm gonna tag them, Arthur Murray Solana Beach, it was so much fun to play. So dancing's always been something that really energizes me. That's my form of play, but getting into costumes when they had their themed events, dressing up as, as G.I. Jane, I um, dressed up in some holiday costumes, um, funky sweater, the funny Christmas sweater things, and we did funny events. It was so playful. I seriously felt like a little kid. 
and it was so energizing. I felt more radiant, I felt more youthful, I felt more hopeful and creative. It stoked so many different things in me. So today's talk and challenge is to, for you to reconnect with your sense of play. So what are some of those things that you maybe already do that are playful? It could be riding a bike, maybe playing board games, um, watching funny videos. That's a, that's a form of play too. Dancing is one of the easiest ways we all can play and just moving our body in goofy ways. Like the goofier, honestly, the better. So think about what you can do or what you already do. And then if you're not really into it, like, okay, what can you do to really push yourself maybe a little bit outside that comfort zone, but bring in this whole body focus um, where you connect mind, body, and spirit to energize yourself, to awaken creativity, to relieve stress. All of those things support you in taking forward movement toward your goals, toward your life. So that's a challenge. Think of something and spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It doesn't have to be a large amount of time, but I ask you to really commit to do something today. And then in the comments below, write about it. What did you do and how did it feel? And what new habit can you create in your life where you use play as an essential tool for your happiness, for your health, and for your fulfillment? Think about that. So I'm so grateful to have been with you here today talking about play. And now let's go play. I'll see you later.